In a world of bullpups, it's time to take a look at a more traditional length rifle, and again, in beautiful laminate finishes. and welcome to AAR on Air. It's effecto time again, but this time it's not the super compact Xeon in polymer finishers. It's back to the glorious natural beauty of wood. And after being so very impressed with the Xeon out on the range, I'm expecting big things from the longer sibling, the PX5. Mm. Start some walk around first then. This is around 111 centimetres long and tips the scales at three and a half kilograms. Well, at least that's what the technical specs issued by Effecto claim. Nah, can't be right. So, out with the tape measure and the scales. Now I make it 112 centimetres or just over 44 inches long and the scale topping 4.14 kilograms or nine pounds, two ounces. Both of these figures are unscoped and unsilenced, which means it is likely to be a little longer and a little heavier in real world use. Now, these figures aren't necessarily a bad thing. It just depends what your intended use is going to be. Now, if you want to use this in close quarters for rat work and so on, in farm barns and outbuildings and the like, then you're bringing the wrong tool for the job. But if you're looking for some longer target work or more open space shooting, then this shouldn't be an issue at all. And don't forget that with length comes a longer barrel for accuracy. And this comes fitted with a 58 centimetre Lothal Walther barrel. And that usually spells accuracy. And I can't wait to check that out a little later on. This comes in 177, 22 and 25 calibers and has two magazines included in the box with 12, 10 and 9 round capacities respectively. This is regulated and is available in higher power versions but these two are in the UK friendly no license required sub 12 foot pound versions. From the front then this comes supplied with a half inch UNF threaded front for you to be able to fit your preferred silencer. It does come supplied with a moderator, apparently, if you have the pro or competition model. Well, according to the book, that is. And this is the pro model. Nope, nothing. I can only assume they mean the shroud on the barrel, which does a pretty reasonable job of keeping the decibels down. Indeed, the book supplied talks about a lot, but I do get the feeling it hasn't been proofread or fact-checked, and I wouldn't take it as gospel. Not a deal-breaker, just probably a fair bit lost in translation, maybe. The cylinder under that long barrel is a 275cc item and can be taken up to a maximum fill pressure of 240 bar. It has an Effecto label air gauge on the end, which is colour coded and numbered to show the sweet spot. Behind this is the rotating dust cover for the filler port for filling via the supplied filler probe. This whole area is nicely rounded off to give a nice finish. Moving back, we come to the ambidextrous stock. I have the orange and blue laminates with me. There is also a green base laminate and a walnut. The walnut version is slightly cheaper. There is a Picatinny weaver rail on the underside to add a bipod which is likely to be a good idea on this more traditional length rifle. I do think the laminate are of high quality and there's no signs of financially led manufacturing corners being cut at all. It flows beautifully into the trigger area and forms the front edge of the trigger guard. There is no stippling on the front, but a nicely finished double style stippling with a subtle effecto embossing built in. 
the stock continues in a slimline manner as you move to the adjustable cheek piece, which again has been done really nicely. This then flows into the rubberized and vented adjustable butt pad. Now, I've already stated that this is ambidextrous, and they have even given you the option to move the bolt action over to the left-hand side from the right if you prefer. Talking about that bolt action, this is a nicely machined silver-coloured item and has a very short pull. The rail on the top is dovetail rail and complements this style of gun rather than adding a more military style Picatinny or Weaver rail. The trigger is a two stage adjustable item so should suit the fussiest of individuals. The shape of the stock behind the bolt is very flat to allow a thumbs up shooting position if you prefer. As I said earlier, this comes complete with two magazines, but it also comes supplied with a single shot tray as well, probably hinting at this being more of a target focus focused rifle than a hunting tool. Let's take a look at the loading of the magazines, shall we? First thing to do is to rotate the front clear cover anti-clockwise until it stops, then Drop in your first pellet after you've rotated the magazine round, skirt first. Then turn it over and then continue filling from the front all the way round until all ten, in this case of the 2-2, two -two, are fully loaded. When it's all done, then pop it into the gun bolt back from the left hand side. It's worth noting that this has a lock open after last shot option, which is always a nice touch. You also get a mass of washers, o-rings, hex keys and everything else in the box along with a couple of stickers. Time to get this over the chronograph then. This orange laminate is a 2-2 calibre and using standard 15.89 grain weighted pellets it's saw. 566 feet per second, which is 11.31 foot-pounds or 15.33 joules, which is close enough to the UK limit to give you a little leeway if you decide to start adding some heavier pellets. This has a couple of safeties built into it. The first and primary one is within the trigger guard area in front of the trigger, and this is a left-to-right paddle which, when engaged, will completely lock the trigger. The other is to leave the bolt in the upright position and it will also lock everything off. Time to get a decent scope on this and get it out on the range. Now I'm expecting big things from this because I must say I was very impressed with the shorter bullpup Xeon when I tested that back last year. Let's get out at 40 metres, shall we? It's beautiful. Here goes. It feels a bit like Winnie the Pooh on a blustery day. Only well, it's not blustery, it's blowing a gale. But at the moment, it's just calmed down. You can hear it in the background on the trees. The Effecto PX5. I'll let you into a little secret. One, this has been very rushed for me to get out to actually shoot this because it's the first fine day. Two, I'm really expecting big things from this. I shot the Xeon and I loved it. All I've done is I've put a 3 to 8 Taurus on top, which is a beautiful scope. I very briefly and quickly zeroed it in in between the wind. It's 177 that I'm shooting, not the 2 2. And it's very low on air at the moment. It could really do with a pump up, but I haven't got a tank nearby, so I'm having to shoot it with what it's got. This will only be the second time that I've shot this downrange. I have a feel for it. From a point of view, it feels like it's going where you want it to go. And I had the same feeling with the Xeon, the bullpup version. I like it, the wind's coming. Um, 
I do like it, I like it a lot. So I'm gonna try now, down the range, see what I can do. Fingers crossed on the wind. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, there is that wind. It's a nice trigger. last shot. Now you can see how fast I've just fired that off because I am mindful of the fact that the wind is coming through at such a, a, a pace actually it's still quite calm but quick fire straight through come on look at that there's I think there's one that's gone off shot this is a cracking accurate rifle I love the coloration on it I think it's long it's not as loud as it could be that shroud does work put a silencer on the end and it will be somewhat quieter I've not taken time to adjust everything to, to a perfect position for me and as you can see it's only approximately zeroed it's actually shooting high but it's not it's irrelevant it's what it's doing down at the target is it consistently in the same place and the answer is yes i'm resting on a cold day out in the paddock with wind you can hear it blustering like i don't know what in the background that is accurate that is a nice gun it might be a marmite thing you might love it or hate it but to shoot if all you are is a target shooter down the range it works it does what it's supposed to do and it feels nice as well it shoots nicely you got the lock open after the last shot 12 rounds i believe it is in that 177 magazine yes the safety it'll take a bit of getting used to where it's in the trigger but it does lock everything off and you've got the open bolt lock as well i like it i do like it there's not a lot else to say. It's a nice, nice rifle. Yeah, I like it. Back to the studio. Well, I think those results speak for themselves, really. Remember, there is a Lothar Walthar barrel on board this PX5 Pro. So, what about price then? Well, there are basically two prices here in the UK. The laminate version, which will cost you around £870 UK, with the walnut version leaving you a little left over at £695 UK. This is slotting into the mid price band and hopefully leaves a few quid to be able to drop a decent scope on board to have yourself a nice little package that looks pretty amazing and is more than capable of turning a few heads down at the range and providing some excellent re results down there as well to impress your mates. It is a little on the heavier side, but this gives it stability. The balance of that weight is nicely managed and not noticeable when you settle down. It's nice to get a longer rifle to test, in my opinion, just for a change. And I'm a sucker for a nice laminate stop. 
Nice to see a more traditional rifle in these times of tactical versions of most everything. Now I have enjoyed these PX5s and I was hoping I would. Hopefully you've enjoyed it too. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, feel free to share and hit the alarm notification bell. Please let me know what you think in the comments section and follow up the chats on this little lot and on the AAR website. A big thank you to Vector Air. I wonder why they got orange for getting hold of these for me to review and enjoy for you guys. As always, my thanks go out to you for watching and supporting the channel. Please stay safe and shoot safe. And hopefully I'll see you next week with more news and reviews for you. Bye for now.